the world. You're the United Kingdom. Talk your okay. Good afternoon, thanks for joining us again. Uh, you're with the BSN Broadcast Sports News for the rest of the Saints video. And uh, at Oddsville Stadium this afternoon, we've come over to the opposite side from the main stand where we usually are uh, videoing, hopefully to give you a better view, as uh, usually we have uh, a couple of the stanchions in our way and it always happens that uh, the scoring seems to take place behind those stanchions. Anyway, my name's Ron Hoof, I'm your regular match day commentator, I hope you'll enjoy this afternoon. I'll just run through the teams for you now, Saints. First, of course, number one, Beavers, two, Hunt, three, Bailey, four, Lachlan, five, a debut in the first team for Jason Roach, six, David Tanner, seven, Jonathan Griffiths, eight, Farber, nine, Groves, ten, Cosgrove, eleven, Dwyer, twelve, Haggerty, thirteen, Cooper, fourteen, Sean Devine, and fifteen, Paul Jones. The Bradford team, number one, Wilkinson, two, Cardinal, three, Medley, four, McGowan, five, McKay, six, Simpson, seven, Harkin, eight, Skerritt, nine, Barraclough, ten, Hamer, eleven, Hobbs, twelve, Furbank, thirteen, Pendlebury, substitutes for Bradford, fourteen, Wilson, and fifteen, Stewart. Today's match day official is uh, Mr Robin Whitfield from Widnes. It's Bradford to kick off. And away we go. David Hobbs kicks deep. Mark Bailey stops it with his foot. Solid tackling there from Bradford. Two, three man tackle there. John Hamer, one of the forwards in there quickly. John Pendlebury there. He's been uh, around quite a bit, hasn't he? We all remember Pendlebury from uh, Halifax at Wembley, but uh, say it's just breaking out of their own 25. Quickly, Chris passing the ball over there to the left. Deep kick. Ian Wilkinson, ex uh, Leeds player, playing at full back today for Bradford. Takes it well up to the halfway line. Just 10 yards in. As I said, we're on the open side here at Bradford and uh, no doubt you'll uh, expect a, a few candid comments from the uh, partisan Bradford crowd. But uh, Bradford in possession, still spreading it. Carl Furbank turning it inside, Bradford in possession, but Saints forcing them back into their own half. Pendlebury there, and it's number four. Steve McGowan attacked in half-back, he spreads it back. Groves is uh, chasing on uh, to the number 10, John Hamer. But Saints they are, they're forcing Bradford back towards their own 25. Going to be a kick up field. David Hobbs, but no way through for him. Farber and Cosgrove in at the tackle. Sixth and final tackle signified by referee Whitfield. On to Harkin. But Jason Roach, first touch, uh, well, second touch. He had a, a field of the ball early on. But he had to take it on his own, runs up to the halfway line. Well, Bradford penalised for offside. John Pendlebury looks as it's McGowan. Yes, McGowan is pointing to. It's the McGowan and uh, McKay partnership on the left wing for Bradford. And the first penalty uh, of this afternoon's game going Saints way. So Paul Lachlan in possession. He's going to have a go for goal. Kicked 23 goals for the Saints this season and two uh, the other night for the Lancashire Yorkshire. Bit of a, a farce if you're a Lancashire spectator. With the uh, Yorkshire running out winners of 56 points to 12, I think it was. But he kicked 11 last uh, week, last Sunday, against Runcorn in the first round of the Lancashire Cup and uh, two tries as well. Personal tally of 30 points, winning in the Man of the Match award. It's about 15 yards in and... Uh, 40 yards, 40-odd 40 yards out. 
Looks as though it's gone across, has it? Well, yes, struck it well. As I said, you can't judge it here. A massive stadium here at Oddsdall, and uh, it goes right between the sticks. So just after three minutes play, Saints take a two points to nil lead. Obviously, a depleted team for the Saints. Alex Murphy's uh, unfortunately just got to. A choice of the 15 players that are on the sheet this afternoon. 15 players also injured. Lots of key men out. Just hope that uh, they're soon on the road to recovery. Certainly looked a high tackle there. It's Farber coming through and uh, the Bradford uh, player being warned there by uh, referee uh, Whitfield. Number 12, Carl Furbank, I think it was. It's a good job he uh, didn't connect with it. And it took Farber's head off. But Lachlan there finds touch 10 yards inside the Bradford half. Quick play of the ball from Groves. Now with Haggerty. Groves at dummy half. On to Jonathan Griffiths. Well, had some uh, publicity in the uh, local press uh, this week. Uh, Jonathan Griffiths from uh, One Irate Spectator. I've never read such a load of garbage in all my life. He's uh, praising him and then saying it's from t two scrums that was rented against the head that led directly to uh, tries against Castleford, and that's uh, an absolute load of rubbish. <laughs> I watched the video again this morning, and uh, it's no such thing. Perhaps he wants to watch it again and uh, then think about it. Anyway, Paul Lachlan, grubbers for touch, finds touch on the Bradford 25. First scrum now. Bradford feed, Paul Harkin, Wiley campaigner, versatile character, very quick off the mark. Brian Noble, the international hooker, I don't know he's injured, but uh, Barraclough is a hooker, and the scrum comes Bradford side. Quickly spreading it. On to Roger Simpson, speedy lad, this Simpson, little coloured chap, usually on the wing, but uh, at the standoff position today, and as you can hear from the uh, cheers from the uh, partisan uh, Bradford crowd surrounding us here on the open side, it's Oddsdall. Uh, Saints are penalised for moving up in an offside position. So Bradford with the first penalty of, uh, of this game. A deep kick, fans touch midway between the Saints 25 and the halfway line. Solid three-man tattle there from the Saints. Paul Farber going in with the David Cosgrove. Hooker Barraclough going into the Saints 25. Bradford trying to put the pressure on now. Kelvin Skerritt. Well, they have a big pack, Bradford. Uh, Castleford had a big pack, didn't they? But they tired out in the uh, latter stages of the game up Nosey Road. We've just got to not, uh, give them a chance to get on top. David Hobbs there. He's... Uh, taken over with Tommy Smales as the coach here at Bradford uh, with the resignation of uh, Barry Seaborn. But Saints move in very quickly, yes. Good pass in there, Pendlebury, I think it is. He flicks it up. Bradford, keep uh, keep it moving. Simpson onto McGowan. Well, brilliant tattle there. Alan Hunt in with the shoulder and bangs him down. And this uh, McGowan, you can't give him a chance. Harking goes for a drop goal. It's gone to the right. Well, is it all on? Yes, the try's given. Number 10, John Hamer, following it up from that uh, attempted drop goal by Paul Harkin. The ball touched the Saints player, it came back into the field of play. Hamer there, it sat up beautifully for him, and all he had to do was gather it and uh, just fall over the line. So Bradford take the lead by four points to two, and uh, surely just a formality for the extra conversion points. Good following up there from Bradford. They paid dividends, as I said, Harkin on the sixth tackle there. Going for the drop goal. And uh, John Hamer getting the rebound. He came back and he just fell over the line. Four points to two to Bradford. David Hobbs. 20 odd yards out. Just to the right of the uprights. Lewis Hobbs just uh, composing himself. 
Lofts it over, no problem. Six points to two for Bradford after just uh, seven and a half minutes play. Obviously a difficult uh, proposition here at uh, Odsdell Stadium. Natural ball here at Bradford, the scene of the uh, largest crowd in the uh, Rugby League. 1954 Challenge Cup replay, 102,000 was the attendance uh, branded out, but uh, from valuable sources they reckon it's more like 130 odd thousand. Lachlan kicks off, Harkin takes it on the chest, charges it down onto uh, Roger Simpson. Roy Haggerty and uh, who is it? Paul Groves quickly in there. As I say, it's a good, uh, it's a good way down here to the pitch from uh, where we are, right at the uh, back of the uh, stadium here at Odsdal. Barraclough, the hooker, making inroads. Uh, trying to make his way up to the halfway line. Well, awkward ball there. Say it's quickly in there. Tattle count wave clean. Loose ball there, a Saints player following it up, David Tanner it was, and uh, with Tanner touching it, Bradford uh, Northern man collecting it. A further six tattles, but they're pegged in their own 25. Solid tattle in there again from the Saints. Kick up field, Beavers takes it comfortably. Well positioned, Phil Beavers. Just beats one, but... Uh, Another two-man uh, Northern Reception Committee. David Cosgrove, taking up the running, solid lad, and uh, early minutes yet, just uh, ten minutes gone. Six points to two in Bradford favour. Saints spreading it, Roy Haggerty, long stride in uh, second row. Mark Bailey at dummy half. Jonathan Griffiths looking for the gap into space. Griffiths takes 30, 40 yards, gets up again, but just brought down. Sixth and final tattle signified by referee Whitfield. Beavers chip kicks. Will it run into touch? No, just short. Brought into into uh, field uh, by uh, Graham McKay. Australian winger, played for the Western Suburbs Club before coming over here and joining Bradford Northern. Full back Ian Wilkinson, well, he's doing well there. Fence three off. Brought down right between his sticks, but well, he's just about eight yards from his own line. Roger Simpson at dummy half. <laughs> Trying to make yardage and clear the uh, ranks for Bradford. Still pegged in their own 25. Barraclough at uh, acting half back. Hobbs there. Trying to dummy the Saints defence there, but it's Barraclough again. Setting Bradford on the way. John Hamer, try scorer. Just bursts out of the uh, his own 25. Bradford still in possession, moving it over to the right. Hobbs, lofted ball onto Gerald Cardle, this ex Cardiff rugby union wingman. Sixth and final tattle on to David Hobbs. Deep kick upfield, right in the middle as uh, Beavers is waiting on the touch line, but he comes in very quickly. Saints moving back now. Shane Cooper. That tacked in half back. On to Jonathan Griffiths into space. Brought down on the 25. Good tackle there from Steve McGowan. Well, moving up very quickly there. Pendleberry and Skerritt. Must have been offside there. Well, referee Whitfield is only looking at once uh, to uh, one side. But it's Roy Haggerty. He's the creator of many a gap in the opposition defence. He's coming down the blind side there. But no way through for him. Paul Groves. Lofty ball there. Held it as Bradford moved up. Sixth and final tattle again. The ball to David Cosgrove. He grubbers for touch and uh, finds touch successfully. Just bounces in front of Graham McKay. And into touch, just about eight yards inside the Bradford half. So only the second scrum and... Uh, 12 and a half minutes of the game gone. Bradford still in the lead by six points to two. Paul Harkin to feed. Bradford come up with the ball. Wilkinson making the extra man in the line. Phil Beavers quickly in with uh, David Tanner. Where's Bradford spreading it to the right? Oh. 
Gerald Cargill running cross field, strong runner. Typical rugby union tactics to down with the shoulder and in, but it was a rugby union man that tattled him, or I should I say an ex rugby union, Jonathan Griffiths. Well, Bradford still in possession, Barraclough. On to Harkin, sees the gap. Good tackle there, solid tattle from uh, David Cosgrove, it was. John Pendlebury, up and under. Phil Vivas comfortably takes it, 10 yards from his own line. Roger Simpson comes in for the tackle, but it's Saints now, pegged in their own 25. Paul Lachlan from acting halfback. Just gets out of the 25. Groves onto Cosgrove. Groves again onto Farber. Both uh, teams playing it more or less up the centre. Just the odd uh, ball being flung out to, to the wings. There it goes, Shane Cooper. Onto Jason Roach. Into space. Rounds one man. Jeddle Cardle to beat. Rounds Cardle. But the Bradford man comes back. Sixth and final tattle and a good 30 uh, yard run there from Jason Roach on his debut here. Chip kick through. But so well taken there by Carl Furbank. Feeds it inside. John Hamer. Saints did well there. Solid tackle from Paul Farber. And a gap had uh, opened in the Saints defence there. Harkin. Skerritt. Jonathan Griffiths in with uh, David Tanner. They say he's filled in. Uh, in all the back positions as uh, David Tanner he's been asked to uh, fill in at standoff today the injury to Tommy Frodsham a thigh injury, heavy bruising of the thigh but it's Graham McKay this Aussie uh, winger trying to go in field no way through for him, Alan Hunt and Haggerty bring him to ground, Roger Simpson, Bradford moving it across to the right certainly a hint of obstruction as he moved across there but uh, sixth and final tattle again Hobbs, yes Pinpoint precision from Hobbs there, and he finds touch 10 yards from the Saints line right in the corner. Two to nil the scrums in Bradford favour, but they've both been with a Bradford feed. As I said they have a big pack, and uh, Saints uh, certainly missing the talents there of uh, new signing Ian Connor, who's not yet made his debut for the Saints, and uh, definitely Stuart Evans. Jonathan Griffiths to feed. Well, uh, it's a Bradford scrum half right round the back. Uh, the scrum collapses. Referee Whitfield uh, orders a re-scrum. <laughs> Griffiths to feed. The ball comes out to its side. David Tanner. Bernard Dwyer now. Races it to Shane Cooper into space, into Mark Bailey. Well, I thought he'd given it Mark Bailey. He went inside, but Sir Bradford penalised her for a take. Must be taking the man without the ball. <laughs> Lachlan finds touch midway between the uh, Bradford 25 and the halfway line. Groves plays it quickly, Cosgrove charge up, charges up, uh, just brought down inside the Bradford 25. So, Paul Farber charging through 20 yards now from the Bradford line. Sits in possession, Bradford caught offside. Groves is going to take a quick, well, Groves brought down by Hobbs there as he went to uh, take a quick tap penalty. It's a toss up whether the referee had let him play it or not, but uh, Hobbs brought him down. Shane Cooper actually with the ball in his possession. He's going to go for goal. Paul Jones sits uh, substitute forward coming on as uh, Sam Mann. And it's Paul Lachlan. Surely he'll have no problem in tagging the extra points on. As they were back into league action after the last uh, Sunday's County Cups. Saints uh, beating Runcorn 78-10 and uh, Bradford... Had a good win at Headingley, beating the leaders by 15 points to eight. Tries uh, to Wilkinson and Cardle, and three Hobbs goals and a Harkin drop goal. Seems to pop up there with these drop goals as uh, young Paul Harkin. But it's uh, Paul Lachlan now, 15 yards out, just to the left of the sticks. No problem, bangs it over. Sits back in the hunt at six points to four. Thank you. 
So obviously a tough tie this afternoon. Both teams involved uh, this coming Wednesday in uh, the second round of the Cups. Saints at home to Oldham and uh, Bradford are here at Oddsdell entertaining the uh, newly promoted Sheffield Eagles. But it's six points to four now in Bradford's favour. Paul Lachlan just popping that uh, penalty goal over. Hobbs to kick off. Deep kick. Alan Hunt does well, stops it with his feet, gathers it safely. Going across field, but solid tackle there. Very felt that, didn't he? Running right into the uh, arms of uh, Furbank. <laughs> and uh, scare it. Groves onto Farber. Moving it over to the left, feeds it back inside. David Tanner taking up the running. No way for him. Solid tackle from Bradford, moving up very quickly. Kick up field, but well taken there. Ian Wilkinson, well positioned. <laughs> Evades the clutches of Shane Cooper, but Bernard Dwyer brings him to ground. Cardle coming off his uh, right wing, looking for a bit of the action. He's a big lad. Roger Simpson attacking half back. Saints penalised for moving up too quickly. So Bradford awarded uh, another penalty. Ten yards in uh, from this near side touchline. Hobbs with the ball in his hands, he's going to have to go for goal, I think. Well, they're having a bit of a conflab. But it's Hobbs, he's going to kick for the corner. Barraclough there. Fifteen yards from the Saints line now. Saints will have to keep him out. We've already got him for one try. Even uh, though it was by default from uh, Saints coming back, hitting a Saints player and coming back after an up and under, but it's Harkin. Going across the line. Good ball there. Nearly split the Saints defence open. About two yards short of the Saints line now. Bradford attacking. Pendlebury going from acting half back. Yes, yeah, scampers in. Wiley campaign. And as I said, this Pendlebury, you've got to watch him. Years of uh, experience there. He took the ball from the acting half back position and just uh, dove under. At a short distance out, as I say, only about six feet out, and that extends Bradford lead now to ten points to four, with the goal kick just a formality. It's giving Bradford a, a lead now. It's going to be 12 points to four when he's uh, tagged these points over. Apart from the run card match last uh, week, which was the County Cup at Sheffield. We give Sheffield 11 points to out. And at one time when we played Castleford, it was uh, 24 points to two. Just can't afford to let these teams uh, go so far ahead, even though we have been coming back. Hobbs. Right in front. No problem. Bangs it over. And that's the score here at Oddsdell. After 21 and a half minutes, it's uh, 12 points to four in Bradford favour. <laughs> Paul Lachlan there, centre field to restart. Kicks it deep, Simpson there. Gathers it in his in goal area. Only a little fella, but he uh, ducks under the tattles. Similar style to uh, Desi Drummond there. He's uh, only a little fella, but one hard man, isn't he? Kelvin Skerritt there. Barraclough at dummy half. On to Pendlebury. Harkin attacked in half back. Bradford moving upfield. Taking it to the right. Hobbs. Good playmaker, Hobbs, ex Featherstone Rovers. I don't know whether he played for Oldham at uh, one spell, but he's been around a bit. Season campaigner. And on to Paul Medley on the far side there. These ex Leeds and Halifax is uh, Paul Medley. Play anywhere. He was on the list uh, for about 100 thou when he was at Leeds. He went to Halifax, I think it was in an exchange deal with uh, James, the international uh, forward. But he's uh, in dispute, and he's come here to Bradford. Certainly a utility player and a useful uh, 
acquisition in anybody's side. Well, the ball being wrenched there from Jonathan Griffiths' hands by uh, Carl Furbank, I think, is the uh, perpetrator, and Saints being awarded the penalty. <laughs> Referee Whitfield must have shouted uh, that the title had been completed, but Furbank wrenched it from his hands. Saints move up here with Lachlan kicking uh, and finding touch shot of the Bradford 25, Haggerty into space. Shane Cooper, lofty pass to Paul Lachlan. No way through for him, John Pendlebury, one of the tattlers quickly in there. But it's Saints now on to uh, Bern uh, David Cosgrove, it is. Just outside the Bradford 25, trailing by 12 points to four. Saints points, just the two Paul Lachlan penalty goals, but it's Bernard Dwyer. <laughs> Back now, just uh, second game, I think it is, uh, after a spell with Manley, but Beavers with an up and under. But it goes into touch. Whether it was off a Bradford player or whether it was off a Saints player. Yes, uh, off a Bradford player as uh, given by the touch judge. So Jonathan Griffiths there to feed the scrum. Jonathan Griffiths feeds the scrum. Saints ball. Griffiths uh, received it from the base. Well, it's hit uh, Simpson. So it's back for another six tackles now. Phil Beavers cleans it up. Still uh, up with the uh, attack. Shane Cooper at dummy half. Bernard Dwyer. Saints moving it cross field. Looking to penetrate this uh, Bradford defence. Dwyer back to Groves. On to Mark Bailey. Well, he juggles with it. Bradford are back in possession. Graham McKay picks it up. Hal Furbank turns it inside to Harkin, but uh, Haggerty, uh, as you know, it's Mark Bailey, smothers him very quickly. Hobbs across to John Hamer. Tackling's going to be the name of the game here this afternoon at Oswald. Harkin onto Pendlebury. Three good playmakers there in the uh, Bradford side. You've Harkin, Hobbs, and uh, Pendlebury there. Lofted ball, well taken by Graham McKay. Mark Bailey comes in. Bernard Dwyer completes the tackle. Sixth and final, as signified by uh, referee Whitfield. McGowan feeds it inside. Kick through from Bradford, it's going to run dead. It's going to be a 25 yard uh, tap restart from the centre of the 25, with the ball being kicked dead by the opposition. Groves there. On to David Cosgrove, running into this powerful uh, Bradford defence. Groves feeds it back inside. Cooper along the line, Jonathan Griffiths, Haggerty, trying to make the extra man and uh, create the gap. Always there and about, Haggerty always looking to release and uh, nobody there this time to take it off him. Cooper, David Tanner. Just less than a quarter of an hour remaining. Saints still trailing by 12 points to four. <laughs> Paul Lachlan, Graham McKay well positioned, takes it well. Hunt brings him down, yes, brings him to halt. Goes around the legs. David Tanner makes sure he doesn't go any further, but it's Harkin taking it across field onto Hobbs. The ball uh, loose, but uh, Harkin comes up with it. He did go back, as signified by referee Whitfield, no doubt about that. Barraclough at the dummy half position. On to Carl Furbank. Turning in the tattle, looking to release, he does so. Well, uh, obviously, referee Whitfield, he said that uh, the tattle had been completed and Furbank had uh, passed the ball. Constitutes a scrum. It's going to be a Saints feed. <laughs> Just inside the Saints half. So as you've just heard on the PA system, Paul Jones coming on, uh, replacing Bernard Dwyer. An early setback uh, for the Saints there, with uh, Dwyer limping off. Yeah. 
I say it's been penalised at the scrum. You can hear Robin Whitfield uh, clearly there shouting uh, out his instructions. But a, a deep kick there from David Hobbs right into the Saints 25. Barraclough onto John Hamer. Well, it's well penalised there. It's Hamer for playing it to himself. Sometimes uh, they're allowed to play it, and other times they're not. I mean, uh, well, we can always harp on back, but uh, Alan Hunt scored a perfectly good try, in my opinion, but was penalised because uh, they reckon that the Castleford markers were marking him, but they wasn't. Well, Groves uh, came up quickly, as ever, to play the ball, but unfortunately knocked on jeers from the partisan the Bradford crowd here. I suppose we'd only do the same thing in their position, wouldn't we? Scrum down midway between the Saints 25, the halfway line. Bradford to feed, Harkin. But Bradford turning the pack and the duly penalised for it. So Saints back in possession. Groves now with the ball in his hand after Vivas had found touch. On to Farber now. Furbank, well, the Furbank and Skerritt. Skerritt going in there with the head, no danger. Jonathan Griffiths across the line now. Tanner turns it infield to substitute forward Paul Jones. Ten yards from the Bradford 25. Beavers attacked in half back. On to Griffiths, looking to create space inside the uh, David Cosgrove. Solid tattle there, Furbank moving in. Well, Bradford, there's uh, three men in front of the referee there. Lockers chip kicks through. Ian Wilkinson gathers it, but Lachlan comes in, completes the tackle. There's obviously something's got to be done to break this uh, Bradford defence. Barraclough from dummy half position. Haggerty and uh, it's uh, Paul Lachlan bring him down. Kelvin's get it now, just outside the 25. Bradford still in the lead, 12 points to four, 10 minutes of the half remaining. Harkin. On to Hamer. Barraclough up back to dummy half. The ball going to be kicked up by David Hobbs. Jason Roach, well out on the full there. Did well there, Roach. Obviously a difficult ball, but it went uh, directly out. So the ball uh, coming back from where the uh, kick was taken. It's going to be a scrum down with a Saints feed. Hopefully a good attacking position for the Saints, if we can hook this ball cleanly. Griffiths to feed. Saints come up with the ball. Griffiths uh, from the base of the scrum. Drawing the defence onto... Barraclough at dummy half for Bradford. Well, Saints penalised for offside. He's looking to his left. There is Shane Cooper and Paul Jones there, but uh, being penalised... So it's Hobbs, got a fine touch on the main stand side here at Oddsdell. Finds touch 10 yards, well, perhaps more like 15 yards inside the Saints half. Barraclough to restart. Harkin, across the line, get it. Haggerty and Jones complete the tattle. with Harkin, change of direction, feeds it inside to Hobbs. Well, the ball's still going, Wilkinson coming up from the full-back position and linking up. Right from one end of the ground to the other. And Bradford spreading it across the line. Harkin again. Got to get this man down first time. On to Pendlebury. Well, forward pass there onto Simpson. And another forward pass there onto uh, Furbank. Well, he must be held up on his back. But two forward passes in quick succession. They're going unnoticed by referee Whitfield. Scrum down to be formed. Five yards outside the Saints line. And it's going to be a Saints feed. Jonathan Griffiths 
with the ball in his possession. Ball comes out, sits. A lovely flip ball up to Vivas. Into Tanner, into space now. Tanner, yes, lovely ball to Mark Bailey. Well, uh, equally good tackle from Bradford there before he could release the ball to Alan Hunt. But it's McKay, he's mauling, yes. He's duly penalised for it. As uh, Bailey tried to get up quickly, Chris Bance from uh, Saints there, right on their own line. They won the scrum. They moved upfield 55 yards with Bailey making the break and then feeding on to... Uh, with uh, Tanner making the break and feeding on to Bailey. In the Bradford 25 now, Cosgrove taking up the running. Cooper onto uh, Alan Hunt. Certainly there and about Cooper. He's uh, here, there, and everywhere. He just glides around this pitch. A real uh, class professional. David. David Tanner. Trying to break the tattle. It's centre field. It's 15 yards away from the Bradford line. Just four minutes uh, before the half time hooter. Certainly a timely uh, occasion to score. Jonathan Griffiths going on his own. Well, the ball's uh, been knocked on. Couldn't see that from up here in our position, but uh, referee Whitfield right on the job. The ball going to ground. Scrum down with the Bradford Northern feed. Paul Harkin to feed. Certainly one for Groves uh, to take against the head if he can. Harkin brings it blindside. Feeds it to uh, Graham McKay. Pendlebury now, you've got to follow this man. Roger Simpson at dummy half. Bradford moving it to the right. Kelvin Skerritt. Takes a three-man title from the Saints to bring him down. Looks like McGowan moving up at uh, acting half-back position. Well, he's certainly an eye for the gap, McGowan. He comes inside. Uh, Vivas uh, halts him temporarily. But a good rod there from McGowan. He always seems to be a thorn in the flesh here at uh, Odsel when Saints have the fixture uh, against Bradford here. Cal Furbank releases it to Simpson. Sixth and final tattle. Look for the up and under here from either Harkin or Hobbs. Barraclough at dummy half. It's going to Harkin. Crossfield kick, but uh, some of the sting taken out of it. Hit a Saints player, but Jason Roach in possession. Just outside his own 25. Farber taking up the running. Moving over to the left. Carl and Barraclough quickly in. Paul Jones. Came on in the 28th minute with injury to Bernard Dwyer. Further injury problems for Alex Murphy. Yeah. Roy Haggerty. Out to David Tanner. Takes it back inside. <laughs> Solid uh, defence from Northern there. Moving up very quickly. Paul Jones. Sixth and final tattle. Northern holding the Saints back up there, just outside their own 25. Phil Beavers, crossfield kick, but oh. Gerald Cardle going to take it comfortably. Jason Roach can't bring him down. Cardle still going. Popular figure here at, uh, at Bradford. Well, Paul Jones taking a knock there in the tattle. I think he might have taken a flying boot from Gerald Cardle. Steve McGowan, overlap here for Bradford, but Beavers did well. Super play from Beavers. Codded McGowan there. Went in to take him. McGowan gave the ball to McKay. And Beavers moved over quickly and powered him down. Certainly took the sting out of that attack. Overlap, a one-man overlap there for Bradford on the left. But Beavers did well. Saints come up with the ball. One minute of normal time remaining and uh, 75 yards away from the uh, Bradford try line. Certainly a score now would uh, book the Saints up onto Cosgrove. There are a lot of running chances for the Saints. Quick hands, Haggerty. Well taken there by uh, David Tanner. Solid tackle, McGowan and McKay come in. Quickly snuff him out. Alan Hunt at uh, acting halfback. But Bradford moving up very quickly on referee Whitfield's right. But uh, goes unnoticed this time. Cal Furbank it was. And sixth and final tackle now for the Saints. Cooper there, chipped through, but taken down by Barraclough. The ball was loose. 
Bradford come up with it, there's the hooter, well, right on the 40th minute, so no uh, time being played there for any uh, stoppage, even though he did uh, stop it just for the once when he uh, gave a scrum lecture. But at half-time, it's Bradford going in, leading by 12 points to four. A good solid half as far as Bradford are concerned. Lachlan opened the scoring in the third minute with a penalty goal. Then in the seventh minute, Hamer uh, with a try, a rather fortuitous try when uh, Harkin went for a drop goal. It came back off uh, a Saints player into the field of play. Hamer followed it up, he just had to drop over the line. Hobbs converted and that was it, 6-2 after seven minutes. Then a Paul Lachlan penalty goal in the 18th minute, made it six points to four. And then Pendlebury, who after some sustained pressure from uh, Bradford, from the acting half-back position right by the line and Pendlebury dove over at uh, close range and that was the half-time score here at Odds 12 points to four. We're back with you now at uh, Oddsville Stadium. Another blow for the Saints and Alex Murphy. Jonathan Griffiths is had to be substituted at half-time. Sean Devine coming on. It's been quite a while since he's played in the first team, uh, Sean Devine. He made his debut at home on the 1st of April 1987 against Castleford, but very limited uh, chances since then. Saints to kick off. So an uphill battle in prospect now. Obviously some strong talking at half-time and it's imperative that Saints get a score on the board as soon as possible in the early uh, early minutes of the second half. Just get it there, bursting through, going down in the tattle, but Moore was looking to uh, release the ball onto Gerald Cardle, but he's into touch. Farber bounces him into touch. Solid tattle from Paul Farber, usually uh, in the second row, but uh, with the injury crisis, he's been forced into the front row. First scrum of the second half, Divine feeds. Saints move it quickly. Bailey is the extra man. Beavers comes up, but uh, solid tattle there. Paul Medley quickly in, on to Paul Jones. Sits again, moving it along the line. Shane Cooper, Bailey, on to Haggerty. Good ball to Lachlan, into space. Lachlan stretching his legs, trying to fend one off, and Roach is with him, but uh, he couldn't release it. Jeddle Cardle finally gets hold and brings him to ground. Sits moving up into the Bradford 25. Beavers breaks out a one tattle, releases it onto Paul Groves, looking for a space. No way through there. Hamer brings Groves to ground. Mark Bailey attacking half-back. On to Cooper again. He's been the uh, only one that looked like breaking the Bradford Northern defence. Short ball there to Jones. Looking for the loop movement, but it's knocked on. It's going to be a scrum down. Jones looking to release it, but uh, the ball going loose. Bradford Northern man picking it up, but he couldn't pick it up cleanly. Knock on ruled. Saints head and ball. Just outside the Bradford 25. Devine to feed and Saints come up with it. Well, uh, referee not happy with it. For what reason, I don't know. The ball coming out Saints side, but uh, it's uh, quickly fed again and uh, Saints are penalised. I think he's uh, indicating, no, he's feeding, he's indicating. So Bradford with the first penalty of the second half after just uh, two and a half minutes play Hobbs with a towering kick over to the main stand side 
Finds touch midway between the Saints 25 and the halfway line. Barraclough quickly up. Bradford played it very quickly. Jones and Farr, but I think it is quickly in the at the tackle. Barraclough round for the acting uh, half-back position. On to Harkin, turns it inside to Skerritt. Certainly strong running forwards and Saints with uh, a lot on the plate to hold them out. Hobbs. Well, yes, did well there. Uh, Graham McKay goes in at the corner after a bit of a juggling act. But it's Hobbs, a pinpoint pass. As I said, you've got Hobbs, Pendleberry and Harkin. But it was Hobbs that passed that ball out. Graham McKay took it. And uh, after juggling with it, touch down about five or six yards in from the far side. Uh, touch, uh, touch line. So Bradford Northern extending the lead now to 16 points to four. The kick far out for uh, David Hobbs. Certainly well within his uh, capabilities. Prolific uh, points and goal scorer. I say he's the, uh, one of the caretaker coaches here with Barry Seaborn resigning along with uh, Tommy Smales, but it's Hobbs now, strikes it well, lofts it well, looks good, yes, slots it between the sticks, and that extends Bradford's lead to 18 points to four. Unfortunately, it's all too familiar now, 18 points to four, Cooper, very in the uh, kickoff. Well, looks as though it's going to be another try now. Carl Furbank and Vivas cut him off. Roy beats Vivas. Touches down in the corner. Well, two tries in quick succession from Bradford there. As uh, Shane Cooper tried to birdie the kickoff. So it's moved up quickly, but uh, Furbank gathered it and outpaced the Saints defence. Touching down in the corner. Just got past Phil Vivas. And that's uh, another four points to Bradford. Well, that's brought the Northern Speckies to life. Even though they were leading 18 points to four, but a superb try must be set from the kickoff. Cooper trying to bury the play, but. Uh, it was Furbank that took the ball, took up the running. He's a big, strong uh, running second rower. Phil Vivas came across to try and cut him off, but he couldn't, and he touched in right at the corner. Another difficult attempt for David Hobbs. David Hobbs now, just a few yards in and just outside the 25. No, is it going to fade? Yes, fades across the front. Twenty two points to four. The Northern cheerleaders at the front here. While with excitement, Bradford extend the lead to eighteen points. Paul Lockley now. Is it? Deep kick, yes. On to Paul Medley. Rushes off one. As I say, plays anywhere this medley in the centre. In the forwards, good uh, second row forward. The scrum down being ruled. Obviously the infringement there. When Paul Medley was tattled, must have been an infringement and uh, a scrum down rule, the clock stopped. Somebody being uh, brought out and spoke to, referee uh, reaching in his pocket for the uh, yellow card. So Sean Devine, it is being spoken to in the presence of uh, Saints captain Shane Cooper. Well, he's not actually given him the yellow card, he's just uh, possibly threatened him with it. But it's still Saints feed, Sean Devine there. Ball coming out Saints side and uh, Roger, uh, I was, uh, beg your pardon, Paul Harkin, uh, just as I was going to say, he was round the uh, back of the scrum on the Saints side very quickly, but he's duly penalised by referee Whitfield. Oh, 
So Saints are up in the 25 now, in the Bradford 25, 15 yards from the try line. Grove to restart, on to David Cosgrove. Shane Cooper moving up at dummy half. Over to uh, Mark Bailey. Tries to dummy inside, but Bradford Northern tackling the old firm. Furbank, one of the tattlers in there. I think it was with David Hobbs. So it's spreading it to the left. Inside ball to Haggerty. You've got to have somebody running through from pace there and uh, from deep. And Haggerty trying to uh, penetrate the Bradford defence centre field, but uh, no way through for him. Paul Jones. Over to the right. Shane Cooper. Beavers in the line. Inside ball to Lachlan. Well, high tattle uh, on uh, Paul Lachlan by David Hobbs. Certainly went down uh, rapidly there, did Paul Lachlan. So, we're in the Bradford 25, just to the left of the posts. But Lachlan is the goal kicker, whether he can uh, recover from that injury. Yes, he's up on his feet now, Paul Lachlan, but Saints have been awarded the penalty. But imagine Lachlan will have a go for goal. So both Saints substitutes are used. Bernard Dwyer off with a leg injury and uh, Jonathan Griffiths, well, we're unaware at the present moment uh, what uh, Jonathan's injury is. But Bradford penalised just uh, inside their own 25 for an allegedly high tattle on Paul Lachlan, which Lachlan now got up, recovered. He's going to uh, hopefully add the points on. Lofts it well, right between the sticks. Ten minutes of the second half gone. 22 points to Bradford, six to the Saints. Just six points from three good goals from Paul Lachlan, three penalty goals. Saints unable to penetrate the Bradford line. The third game of the season, both uh, teams having uh, won one and lost one. Saints with uh, 60 points for, 46 against. Whereas Bradford, they have uh, 47 for and 30 against. They went down the other week just by the one point at Sir Wilderspool Warrington, 18 points to 17. But it's Groves across to Cosgrove. Brought down on the 25. As I said, Saints unable to penetrate the Bradford defence. Farber flicks it inside to Beavers. Out to Mark Bailey. Throwing it about a bit. It's uh, the order of the day. Paul Jones turning in the tackle, looking to release, but two Bradford Northern men uh, in his way. David Tanner. Up to the halfway line. Sixth and final tattle. Cooper, across the line, Divine. Paul Jones, have to release it, he does so to Beavers. Lofty kick, will it go in on the full? Yes, it is, unfortunately. Just from the halfway line, the ball going in on the full, but it was on the sixth tattle, so the changeover being signified by referee Whitfield. Bradford Northern back in possession, 11 minutes of the second half gone, and 22 points to six, uh, the score in Bradford's favour. Barraclough taking up the dummy half position. Brings it blindside onto Hobbs. Takes the tattle, looking to release. Lachlan comes in quickly to lend a hand there to uh, Paul Jones, who initially completed the tackle. Hamer. <laughs> Try score a Furbank. Good run through. Beats the three or four Saints tattles, releases the ball. Saints come up with it. Well, Cardinal kicks it on. All on ruled. Well, uh, Alan Hunt, a judge, to have kicked it dead, but I think that was uh, possibly gone dead before Hunt's got his boot to it. But uh, good play from Bradford there. Furbank bursting through. Had the Saints uh, defence there at sixes and sevens. The ball loose. Cardinal kicked on, but to uh, Hunt, a judge, to have kicked it dead. And Saints forced to drop out from between their own sticks. 
I think that's McKay. Left wing for Bradford. This Australian playing for Western Suburbs. There's Bradford back on the attack. Sharp ball to Barraclough. Look to hint forward, but play allowed to go on. Pendlebury. Running hard, ah, Bradford now. Back in the Saints 25. So, take some sustained pressure to all this uh, northern outfit. There's Furbank, good ball onto Barraclough. Well, I don't know how many titles that is, but uh, must only be about four. On to Hobbs. Now there's the hand raised by referee Whitfield. Sixth and final title signified. Gerald's, uh, Roger Simpson. The ball to Pendlebury and up and under. Awkward ball. Finally going dead. Must have been off a, a Bradford Northern boot. Must have been off a Bradford Northern boot. So a 25-yard tap restart. Groves plays it up to Cosgrove. Finding it very hard to break this uh, Bradford Northern attack. Haggerty into space. Onto Jason Roach. Well, Cardinal Erg shoulder charges Roach into touch. Not a lot of space, but a brilliant break from Roy Haggerty. Up the blind side. Created the gap onto... Uh, Jason Roach, but Jeddle Cardle coming in, shoulder charged him into touch. Scrum down 10 yards in, right on the halfway line. So it's coming up with the ball against the head there, but it went loose. Alan Hunt gathers it safely. So it's moving it across the line very quickly, couldn't capitalise on it. Cooper again, looking to create the gaps. Well, Saints losing 25 yards there, but it's Haggerty. Gets the ball back now to Paul Lachlan. Looking at uh, very in disarray, the Saints. Groves at dummy half. Going to come blindside, is it? Farber now. Just into the Bradford half. Cooper, on to Bailey, on to Jones. Somebody's got to straighten up, inside ball to Beavers. Devine, Sean Devine there, going through into the Bradford 25. The chance now for Saints to put points on the board. Bailey onto Cooper. Beavers, short ball there to Tanner. Sixth and final tattle signified. Alan Hunt at dummy half. Shane Cooper going for the line. Yes, he's in. Cooper's in. Well, he's the only man that's looked like breaking this Bradford Northern defence. He's always there, prodding and probing and about. And Cooper took the ball there on the sixth tattle at, uh, from Alan Hunt and uh, dove over about 15 yards in from the main stand side. Shane Cooper there, his second try of the season for the Saints, reducing the deficit to 22 points to 10. Paul Lachlan, as I said, about 15 yards in and uh, right on the 25, he's lining up, hopefully to add the uh, extra points on. <laughs> Paul Lachlan kicked three this afternoon, makes his total 28 for the season. Certainly could do with these extra points, strikes it well. Yes, the touch judges raise the flags and Saints are back in the hunt at 22 points to 12. So just 10 points in arrears now. 23 minutes of playing time remaining in the second half. Bradford to kick off. As I said, Cooper there is the only one that's looked to like penetrating the Bradford ranks. He did so. Positive play from Cooper. Saints captain leads by example. Looks as though the ball was going to go dead, but uh, Cooper had other ideas. He touched down. And Saints back within 10 points of Bradford. Farber now. Taking up the running, turning inside, but uh, solid tackling there. Roger Simpson and uh, Pendlebury, John Pendlebury. Cooper, lofty ball, Haggerty, quick hands, yes, good play from the six. Jones on a run there, over the halfway line. 
Good ball to Alan Hunt. Can he keep him field? Yes. Oh, he throws the ball inside. Bradford back in possession. Saints close in very quickly, but uh, Hunt's idea was right, I suppose, to uh, keep the ball going as he was going to be forced into touch on the far side. But he threw it in field, and it was that man McKay. He came up with it, and Bradford are back in possession just after Saints were uh, starting a charge on the comeback. <laughs> Pendlebury across to Hobbs, Roger Simpson, quick ball to uh, Medley, gives the dummy, but uh, Saints, uh, well, it's Jason Roach that finally brings him to the ground. Roger Simpson at dummy half. Bradford in the Saints 25 now, Pendlebury attacking half back, on to Harkin, gives the dummy, moves over, creating space, solid tattling there from the Saints. Well, they've lost the ball and Saints have come up with it. Have to spread it very quickly. David Cosgrove. Big task for the Saints, but uh, it's certainly within them. Hopefully a very depleted side against this uh, massive Bradford pack. Quick hands uh, was the essence there. Haggerty there onto Bailey. Saints moving it quickly over to the right then at uh, the final pass going astray. The Saints back in their own 25 now. The ball to Lachlan kicks up field. Awkward bounce of the ball comes in field. Wilkinson shouldn't have any problem. Takes it safely. Jason Roach uh, completes the tackle. Wilkinson gets up. And Groves and uh, Sean Devine come in and take him a further 10 yards back. Gerald Cardle now going cross field. The big lad releases the ball there onto Furbank. Who in turn releases it back to number three, I think, Paul Medley. Is it? No, it's Pendlebury. He moves a further 35 yards upfield. McKay now in the 25. Bradford spreading it to the right. Furbank, Simpson looking to put it the way through. Haggerty brings him to ground. He ducked into the tattle there. Harkin at dummy half. On to Hobbs. Harkin coming for the reverse pass. Lofty ball onto Gerald Cardle now. Big strong Welsh lad. Here's Cardle. Sixth and final tattle. Hobbs. Cross field up and under. Well, you'll have to tackle him. Well, quick hands there. Barraclough brought down, but a tremendous covering from the Saints there. Alan Hunt comes up with the goods on the sixth tackle, and Bradford took it, spread it quickly. Two men on the, on the left. Could have resulted in a try there, but terrific uh, defence from Alan Hunt. Oh, Farber taking up the running. Just outside his own 25. Bailey. Haggerty. Breaks one. On to Sean Devine. Paul Lachlan. Jason Roach inside. Let's see what this lad can do. Just broke out of one, but uh, brought down by Cardle. No, it's not. It's uh, Kelvin Skerritt. Cooper. Pinpoint pass to Cosgrove. Yes, up to Cooper again. Groves on his left. Cooper still stood. Well, they overrun him. Unlucky there, but Groves, if he had got the ball, well, he was taken down without the ball there. Was Groves on the uh, Cooper's left? We say it's still in possession. Jones. Still driving forward, Jones. Sixth and final tattle again. Well, where's Cooper? Let's see if he can uh, weave his magic again. There he is. There he is, Cooper. Releases it back to Farber. Sixth and final tattle. Lachlan, well, it's gone to ground, unfortunately. Change over. Medley picks the ball off Lachlan and uh, Bradford are back in possession. And it's Furbank blockbusting his way through. 18 minutes of the game remaining. So it's trailing by 22 points to 12. Roger Simpson from acting halfback trying to go through on his own. Groves and Agassi bring him to the ground. Barraclough setting uh, Bradford on the way. Hobbs taking it cross field. Well, the pass coming back to Harkin there. Saint Sturge back on side by referee Whitfield. And Bradford spreading it to the left. Hobbs. Pinpoint pass from Hobbs there. Into space. Tremendous eye for a pass, this uh, Hobbs. A defence splitting pass. Pendlebury. The ball loose. Cooper. Inside to Vivas. 
gives it Lachlan. Back to Beavers, does well, on to Jason Roach. Have to go in field, Roach. Bradford, uh, Barraclough there, the hooker. Coming across, but it's Cooper again. On to Roy Haggerty. Back to Cooper, Saints Brendan to the right. Quick hands over there on the right, Divine, Tanner. Ten yards inside the Bradford half. Certainly look capable, the Saints, but whether they can produce the goods, Divine. Back to Groves. Saints getting bottled up, centre field, brought down on the halfway line. Shane Cooper again, lofty ball, Haggerty into space. Lovely ball to Lachlan, but an equally good tackle from Roger Simpson. Read that ball from Haggerty there onto Lachlan and brought him down a street. Sh uh, Mark Bailey. Sixth and final tackle now, Beavers. Brings it to the left. Shane Cooper chips through, gathers it. Well, I thought they gathered it safely, but Simpson's touched it and uh, Cooper's come up with it. The tattles were uh, wiped clean. Cooper again, certainly Saints man of the match. Harbour driving into the Saints, into the Bradford 25. Another five tattles to make it count now. Saints have got to get back on the board. Haggerty sidestepping, looking to release. Medley brings him to ground. Who's Harbour now? This is where he's... Groves. Cooper, quick hands, Beavers in the line as the extra man. Lofty ball there. Uh, is it Tanner that's got it? He's coming back in field. Weaving his way through, David Tanner. Brought down right in front of the sticks. About eight yards out. Quick play of the ball wanted from the Saints. Beavers. Farber running on. Oh, dear. Farber releases it. There's two men on his outside, but Cardinal comes up with it. Should never have passed it then. He shouldn't have passed it. And Bradford back in possession in their own 25. So after some sterling work by the Saints, Bradford are back in possession in their own 25. Quarter of an hour remaining, and Saints trailing by 10 points. 22 points to 12. Saints will have to uh, keep Bradford in their own 25, hopefully for the remainder of these six tattles. No doubt with the kicking of Hobbs, Pendlebury and Harkin. They'll be looking to uh, make inroads into the Saints half, but Furbank coming through again. Just brought down on the 25, tremendously strong runner. Good second row partnership there of Hobbs and Furbank for Bradford. There's the kick up field. Alan Hunt takes it well, but goes down. But rounds the Graham McKay, but uh, he just brings him down. Well, offside given there, uh, as Graham McKay must have been ruled in an offside position as he tackled Alan Hunt, wasn't to give him the required yardage after Hunt had taken the ball. Well, it's the first penalty we've had for uh, quite a while in this second half. 13 minutes uh, remaining and the score still 22 points to 12 in Bradford's favour. Paul Jones, Roger Simpson brings him down. Splendid tattle round the way, slides down the legs. Paul Lachlan into space. Hobbs brings him down just inside the, 20, uh, the uh, Bradford half. Cooper from acting half back, trying to create space. <laughs> 12 minutes remaining. Cooper in possession. Weaving his way through. On to Beavers, yes. Support from the Saints to. Oh, yes. Beautiful ball. Inside to Mark Bailey. And he touches down right under the sticks. Well, the Northern crowd shouted for a forward pass. But uh, Northern's got away with uh, quite a few forward passes. It certainly looked uh, borderline there. A good pass to the referee, Whitfield, right on the job. But it's Mark Bailey that touches down right uh, between the sticks. But Saints back in the hunt there, 22 points to 16, and just a formality for Lachlan. <laughs> Lachlan converts it, it's his fifth of the afternoon. Saints 18 points, Bradford 22, just uh, won the try. Separating the teams, and Saints coming back. Uh, obviously, Cooper 
doing all the penetrating. Big cheers as Robin Whitfield goes down, loses his footing on the pitch. But it's going to be Hobbs to restart. Two tries in 13 minutes there from uh, Shane Cooper. Converted by Lachlan, then Mark Bailey finishing off. Alan Hunt gathering the ball right in the corner. Shouts of uh, he's in touch from the Bradford uh, side, Bradford spectators. But uh, the touch judge unmoved on the far side and Saints moving up. Paul Jones stretching his legs, going back in field. Good tackle from Simpson. Saints moving up very quickly. They're certainly on song, and it's Haggerty! Only the full back to beat! Haggerty rounds it! Beat the off! And it's inside to Groves, and he puts it down! Just a formality there for Groves if he'd have took it. After Haggerty bursting through, he only had the full back to beat, the full back tackled him, he took him on. He fed it inside, Groves had it, and then dropped it. That would have brought Saints uh, back on level terms, and just a formality for Lachlan to convert it and put Saints back in the lead. Trailing by four points. And now with just nine minutes of normal time remaining, and Saints on the comeback. Barraclough. On to Hamer, I think it is. Solid Saints tattling and the Saints revival there. Pendlebury, ball to Barraclough. Sixth and final tattle, I think that is, uh, signified by referee Whitfield. On to Hobbs. Crossfield uh, kick from Hobbs, but it's going to go dead. Would have been a nice kick that uh, for Bradford if it had gone into touch, but it curled back into the field of play. Saints are going to restart with a 20 uh, tap from the uh, centre of the 25. Shane Cooper onto Paul Farber. Uh, runs into John Hamer. Paul Groves attacked in half back onto David Cosgrove. Running well is Cosgrove and Saints with the tails up now, coming back just trailing by those four points. Paul Jones had a good game, a good penetrating run over here on the uh, the near side to Huz. Bailey onto Divine, back to Bailey. Ducks under one saddle, flicks it back to Roy Haggerty. Into space, Haggerty supports on his left. Oh, he didn't see him there. It was Divine on his left. Haggerty had to take the tattle. Quick play, the ball essential from the Saints. Divine onto Cooper. Gives the dummy, Cooper. Feeds it back inside. Divine takes it up the running, is it? But Saints now putting the pressure on in the Northern 25. 15 yards from the Northern line. David Cosgrove. 10 yards short now. Saints putting all the pressure on. Come on! Cooper. Good ball to Beavers, yes, Beavers! Oh, brought down short. About uh, six, uh, six feet short there. Cooper again, lofty ball, Lachlan. Must be sixth and final tattle, it's over here in the corner. Saints are going to spread it across the, uh, across the line now, only one way. Cooper, chipping it through. Unlucky, oh, has it gone dead? Best Bradford have to kick it dead. So they're going to be forced to drop out from between their own sticks. Well, he's got that wrong, hasn't he? He's given a, a tap from the middle of the 25, so uh, that's one uh, referee Whitfield got wrong. The, bra the ball being kicked dead by a Bradford foot there. Have to say it's putting on some sterling pressure. Is this going to be uh, one of those matches that uh, is just going to run away from us again after coming back? Gave Castleford a 22-point start at home to Nosey Road. And here it's been 18 points to four. Then it was 22 points to four after a fifth minute Furbank try in the second half. But Saints coming back, but McKay there coming through. The score now 22 points to 18 in Bradford favour. And Bradford are putting pressure on Saints in their own 25. Hobbs, well, he's threw it away. The ball going into touch. Scrum down midway between the Saints try line and the, the, uh, their own 25. Saints feed. Seven, 
So it's come with the ball from the scrum and it's Paul Jones in possession. Bradford moving up very quickly. Come on, sir. Simpson again. Quickly into the tackle. He's done a good tackling stint, but it's Cooper taking up the running. Turns it inside to Farber. Into space. Saints have had some penetrating runs in this uh, second half. Just unable to touch down, though, at the final hurdle. Beavers, quick hands, overlap on the right. Jones taking up the running, feeds it inside. Ten yards inside the Bradford half now. Sixth and final tackle. Saints putting the pressure on. Shane Cooper, lofted ball. Haggerty, he'll take him on. Inside to Lachlan, chips it through, but his way is bad. Had to do something on the sixth tackle there. No good dying with the ball, but it's Bradford in possession. Four minutes remaining. <laughs> Substitute back, uh, Wilson coming on there for Harkin. Well, release to Barraclough. On to substitute back, Wilson. That certainly looked forward, didn't it? But uh, Saints withstand the pressure. Bailey brings him down. Roger Simpson, Bailey tackles him. Well played there. In Bradford, uh, moving across field. Pendlebury on to Furbank. Been a constant thorn in the Saints side, but it's McGowan. Not done a lot, just one run in this game. Sixth and final tackle again. Are they going to go for a drop goal? Chip and run, is it McKay? But, well, did Beavers come up with it? He certainly took a knock there. As Phil Beavers went up for that ball very bravely. Harbour, moving upfield. Saints physio. On to treat uh, injured Phil Beavers. Also a Bradford man down there. David Cosgrove. It's going to have to be a full length of the field job for the Saints. For him to come back now, trailing by just the four points. David Tanner. <laughs> Alan Hunt at acting halfback. Certainly been all Saints in this last uh, quarter of the second half. Paul Groves. Lofty ball to Lachlan. What can he do? Gives it quickly to Roach. He's going to have to come in field. Well, Cardinal takes him round the shoulders. Roach loses the ball. Bradford come up with it. It's Paul Medley. Just a little bit of inexperience, perhaps, there. Unfortunately, there for Jason Roach. <laughs> Full back Wilkinson. Breaks through the Saints defence, finally brought down the Sean Devine it is that completes the tackle. Certainly Bradford sticking to the task after Saints coming back, but Simpson tidies up after a loose ball. Simpson going on his own, can he make anything of it? He's still going. On the far side now, 10 yards from the Saints line. Bradford pressing up. Saints player Phil Viva still injured, McGowan. Yes, McGowan there, taking up the running. He's not done so much, but he was there at the vital time. And that must be it for Saints. No chance uh, for him to come back now. Just two minutes remaining, and Bradford extend the lead to 26 points to 18. Well, these uh, Bradford spectators, they must have been down to about the second knuckle chew in there, with Saints coming back uh, from a 22 points to four deficit to 22-18. But McGowan there, he's, he's uh, certainly finished it off. As far as Saints are concerned, I would imagine 26 points to 18 now. And this uh, David Hobbs conversion attempt. <laughs> Phil Viva's still down there on the pitch, receiving treatment. Saints coaching staff down there and St John's Ambulance just uh, coming on. He took a bad knock when he went up for that uh, up and under there when Graham uh, McKay went in. Not recovered from it, so the stretcher being brought on. And Saints look as though they're going to be down to uh, 12 men for the remaining uh, minute or so of this game. Hobbs there. Yes, pops it over. 28 points to 18, so Northern back with the 10-point cushion. 
So Phil Vivas there, he's just been uh, helped to his feet. He's going to be cheered off, the stretch is not needed, but as I said, Saints are going to be down 2-12 men. He gets a sympathetic round of applause. Certainly looks, uh, but he has got a leg injury, but he looks a bit concussed there. Been taken straight off to the dressing rooms. <laughs> so we're in time added on for uh, stoppages now the Bradford uh, outfit in the lead by 28 points to 18 just after uh, Saints nearly pulled off a tremendous comeback as I said we've been uh, looking for these comebacks there but Skerritt powering his way through he lost the ball, it must be a knock on substitute back Mark Wilson comes up with the ball but what a tremendous uh, bullocking run there from uh, Kelvin Skerritt the clock stop now while Skerritt receives his treatment. I think he might need oxygen. I don't know about any treatment after running like that right across the field. But a scrum down is going to be for, formed 10 yards outside the Saints 25. The Saints come up with the ball. Cooper, lofted pass to Lachlan. Shane Cooper attacked in halfback, just a matter of time now before the uh, final hooter goes. Jason Roach in possession, Cooper at dummy half. Dummy to the blind side, turns it inside. Mark Bailey onto Sean Devine. Roy Haggerty from dummy half, no way through for him. Solid tattling there, Russell Stewart. This uh, New Zealand uh, player back, I think it is for a third season with the uh, Bradford Northern. There's the final hooter. And I think uh, Bradford Northern can possibly count themselves lucky this afternoon. Even though there is a 10 point gap, it's all a matter of ifs and buts. Saints were trailing 12 4 at half time. Then in the third minute, McKay there. He went in for a try goal by Hobbs. And Bradford with the tails up at 18 points to 4. Right from the kick-off with Shane Cooper Burry in the play and uh, Furbank uh, gathered the ball. He must have run about 50-odd yards. Touchdown in the corner after brushing Phil Beavers off. And they was well on the way, weren't they? 22 forward. Then Saints with the revival. A tenth minute, Paul Lachlan penalty goal. That made it 22-6. Then two tries in 13 minutes. Shane Cooper converted by Lachlan. Saint, uh, Shane Cooper must be uh, Saints man of the match. Then a Mark Bailey try in the 29th minute. Converted by Paul Lachlan, and then it's a, a case of uh, what could have been, isn't it? Paul, uh, I think it was Roy Haggerty brought through. He fed it inside to Paul Groves. He held the ball, and then uh, for some reason he just dropped it, and that would have put Saints back on level terms at 22 points each. But it wasn't to be. Bradford come back. Uh, they was in possession, and then they finally finished off with McGowan scoring a try at short range in the 38th minute. So the final score here at Oddsdale: 28 points uh, to 18. As I say, another one that perhaps uh, could have gone a begging for the Saints. Anyway, thanks for joining us once again. As I said, my name's Ron Hoof. On behalf of BSN Sport, in conjunction with the Saints uh, RLFC, we bid you farewell from Odsall Stadium, Bradford. Hope you can join us again at Nosey Road this Wednesday when Saints entertain Oldham in the second round of the Lancashire Cup.